Hello, St. Paul College community. I'm Devinder Malhotra, Chancellor of Minnesota State. And it's my great pleasure to join you today via video as St. Paul College enters into a new chapter of its history. First, I want to express my deep gratitude to the members of the Search Advisory Committee and all those who participated in the campus interviews with the finalists. Your feedback was widely important and shaped my decision as I looked for the next leader of the college. St. Paul College has weathered much in the last few years. Those challenges should not detract us from the college's strong foundation, both programmatically and financially, as well as its work and place within the broader St. Paul community. What I have witnessed over the past two years is a strong, vibrant community of learners and educators who deeply care for the students they serve and the community they are part of. This strong foundation is what will propel the college to greater heights. St. Paul College is poised and raring to go to the next level. Earlier today, the Minnesota State Board of Trustees appointed Dr. Deidre Peasley as the president of St. Paul College. All through her career, Dede has demonstrated that she is first and foremost an educator who strives to listen, to understand the perspective that each member of the college community brings, creating an opportunity where every member sees themselves in the broader vision of the college and the contribution that each one makes to accomplish that vision. I'm deeply impressed by the work of the college this past year as you responded to the social, political, and economic consequences of the pandemic. I have no doubt that St. Paul College will be a leader in the Minnesota state system as it moves forward to become a trauma-informed and anti-racist institution. Didi's commitment and leadership of the college has been exemplary. She consistently demonstrates strong leadership traits, empathy, decisiveness, and tenacity. No matter where she has been, Didi has wholly embraced and immersed it herself in transforming the institution, facing challenges head on with grace and grit. Didi is the right leader at this juncture of the college's history. She has the leadership skills, academic credentials, and experience to continue the college's forward momentum in success of all students and in positioning St. Paul College as a key economic driver for the city of St. Paul and the greater Twin Cities metropolitan area. I look forward to continuing to work closely with Didi and strengthen our partnership to transform both St. Paul College and Minnesota State. Please join me in welcoming the next president of St. Paul College, Dr. Deidre Peasley. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Malhotra and the Minnesota State Board of Trustees for your confidence in my ability to lead this excellent and storied institution. Coming into St. Paul College two years ago, I don't think that anyone could have anticipated the challenges that we would face collectively and individually. 11 days after I began at St. Paul College, we were notified by HLC that we were being placed on probation for our accreditation. Eight months after that, a global pandemic caused us to dramatically change the way we educate our students. Two months after that, George Floyd was murdered 10 miles from our campus, shining a spotlight on the systemic racism in our society. Any one of these issues would have been overwhelming for some institutions, but for St. Paul College, these challenges served as a rallying cry. Through it all, I have continually been amazed by the passion and dedication of our faculty, staff, and administrators. Your dedication not only allowed us to continue serving our students during a pandemic, it has allowed us to innovate to serve our students better. Despite the challenges exerting more pressure on you individually, you have assured that our students' needs are always the top priority in any plan or decision. 
Because of your dedication, when HLC revisited us in December 2019, they noted a significant culture shift across the institution, characterized by a highly engaged faculty and staff who are eager to share evidence of changes made to improve the college, an uncompromising commitment to students and to improving programs that promote diversity and inclusion, ensuring all students feel welcome and safe at St. Paul College, a commitment to valuing all voices and inclusiveness to foster grassroots change, embracing data-informed decision-making. In short, they said that they found, and I quote, a remarkable college. They said that the work that you completed in such a short period of time is extraordinary. As we implement our plan to become an anti-racist and trauma-informed institution, I know that we will be a leader in Minnesota State, assuring that all of our students have the same opportunity to succeed here and then find a society outside our campus walls that does not limit opportunities for anyone. I have also been impressed and humbled by the dedication and resiliency of our students. Recently, one of our students asked me the first thing that I will do when we are all able to re return to campus. Without hesitation, I said, I would simply walk around campus and talk to people. I am so excited for the day in the not too distant future when we can all return to campus and our halls once again buzz with the energy of students who will change their lives in the lives of the people around them because of the education that we provide. I am excited to continue finding ways to connect personally with each of you to discuss the challenges our students face and how we can work together to be better, to do better. To our community partners, the members of our advisory committees, the Friends of St. Paul College Foundation Board, our educational and industry partners, thank you for your continued support of St. Paul College. I know that as a result of our challenges over the last few years, we are a stronger, more data-driven and student-centered institution. We stand ready to partner with you more broadly to serve the community in a renewed way. I look forward to our conversations with you to identify our next steps. The future of St. Paul College is bright and I have never been more excited about working alongside each of you to make our campus more welcoming to all of our students and to work alongside our community members to more closely connect our institution with St. Paul. Thank you for the warm welcome extended to me when I joined St. Paul College. I look forward to extending that same warm welcome on behalf of St. Paul College for years to come.